All right, so what up, vapesters? I know this is not a very happy day for all of the millions of vapors out there, and especially for the smokers who've been contemplating vaping and now hearing about the Trump administration's plans to press the FDA to do a complete flavor ban. But people are dying with vaping. A lot of people think vaping is wonderful, it's great. It's, it's really not wonderful. Uh, that's one thing I think we can say definitely. And I've done videos talking before about how I think the medical concerns, although maybe real and relevant, are overblown purely on like a statistical basis, and I still believe that's true. And as far as the FDA doing a complete ban on flavors, I don't know whether or not they're going to do that but I do have an idea of what's gonna happen if they ban flavors. And we're gonna talk about what's behind this sudden rash of illnesses. Hang tight guys, all of that and more right after this. All right guys, so today I got statements from the CDC. I also have a report from the New York Times we're gonna be looking at that just came out a few hours ago. Now, if you guys had checked out the original CDC report, I believe it was from August 30th. They did mention the issue that was going on with the recent rise of lung injuries related to vaping or at least being associated with vaping. And they say even in the CDC report that many of those cases were also linked to illicit THC cartridges or products like that. Basically the illicit THC cartridges is something that's already been identified as an issue and I believe the other half of the issue are the illegal counterfeit jewel pods that are out there and pretty much all the cases i've heard of have been linked to either a jewel pod or this illicit thc product now something they are saying that is created and i've also heard that it can be used in a thickening substance that people are adding to e-liquid i'm not exactly sure why but it creates a vitamin e acetate which is terrible for your lungs. Regular e-juice does not contain any of that, but they have found it in these illicit THC cartridges and also in some of the counterfeit jewel pods. And so basically you had an issue coming up prior to all of these lung injuries and things. The FDA was worried that the Juul specifically was targeting children and that there was an issue with young people, uh, mostly high school age students, getting into vaping. So according to the New York Times article, 5 million minors, mostly in high school years, reported that they'd used e-cigarettes recently. So again, 5 million, that does sound like a lot, but you also have a huge demographic to look at there. And we are talking about right now five or 600 cases with five or six deaths tragic as they may be statistically speaking the numbers are so tiny that it is far from being a huge epidemic if you have five million people then fifty thousand would be one percent five hundred is one percent of one percent so again i'm not saying it's unimportant but i'm just saying it is statistically irrelevant basically as far as at least coming to some type of a general conclusion about vaping, okay? That's my point. But the concern I have is that you weren't seeing any of these lung injuries before this big push to basically get Juul to take their flavored pods off the market. So here's what ended up happening. So Juul agreed to remove their flavored products from thousands of retailers, grocery stores, corner stores all across the market, gas stations. And this is what the New York Times says. Even though the company's array of flavors had disappeared from store shelves, a host of competitors sprouted up with look-alike versions with similar flavors to fill the vacuum. So what happened here was basically the beginnings of prohibition. You created a prohibition on these jewel flavors that were in demand. So what happens, what always happens when you create a prohibition, you create a black market now, just like what happened in the 1920s. So you're already starting to see the effects of what are gonna happen from a flavor ban. They worried about these high school kids vaping and getting into flavors and maybe the long-term consequences. Then by banning those flavors or at least beginning to start the process of banning those flavors and getting a company like Juul to remove its popular products. You've got the black market imitators now, scammers, less reputable companies filling in that vacuum. And that is always what happens. That's simple fucking free market economics. So for Republicans, as this president is supposedly one, 
they would understand that fact that that's all you're going to do is turn that legal taxable income right now into illegal illicit income that isn't going to be taxable but people are still going to get it but it's not going to be regulated now so all you're doing is taking the job of the fda which is to regulate this e-juice or whatever their plans were to do in the next year and now you're simply taking that job away from them saying you don't need to regulate any of these flavored pods we're just going to hand these over to the criminals and let them sell them to the kids that's a good idea isn't it and then the next stupidest thing you could possibly do if you do not want people to use vaping as a gateway to cigarettes the stupidest thing you could possibly do is make them all tobacco flavored we don't want to introduce kids to cigarettes yet let's make everything tobacco flavored so that's the association they get with vaping that's not going to lead them right into freaking cigarettes is it maybe if you give them mint chocolate chip vape that's going to get them hooked on the ice cream you give them fucking tobacco flavored vape where are they going next to get that fucking cigarettes man you couldn't promote cigarettes any fucking better if you tried which i'm almost starting to think you are trying and the issue never was that flavored pods appeal to kids. Why don't you guys just enforce the fucking laws on the books? Vaping is already illegal for high school kids. Enforce that law and let adults make their own decisions and do their own risk assessment. Six deaths associated with vaping makes vaping one of the safest fucking activities in the world. More people than that die from taking showers every goddamn year. Look up the statistics. Why don't we ban showers for God's sakes if we're gonna do that? Freaking children, I'm sure get hurt showering too, although they are lower to the ground and don't have as far to fall, so they're not as brittle. But regardless, the fact is you let us take a goddamn shower and make that risk assessment for ourselves. Let us fucking make the decision on whether we think vaping and what we get from that and the fact that it got us off cigarettes is a benefit to us. Between the the fucking news media and the government now, it's all tied in because you can tell this whole bullshit is coming from Melania Trump. We can't have our youth be so affected. And I'm hearing it. And that's how the first lady got involved. She's got a son together that is a beautiful young man. And she feels very, very strongly about it. She's seen it. We're both reading it. A lot of people are reading it. Because she's seeing the news and the bullshit and buying into it. And then Trump's just repeating it and fucking reinforcing it and now magnifying it and actually putting pressure on the FDA to do what the bullshit that the fucking news agencies are reporting on. It's all just one big fucking circular bullshit fucking merry-go-round. This recent episode of fucking lung injuries I honestly think is caused by both the prohibition of marijuana because if you look all of the issues are from illegal states where you can't get fucking marijuana products legally that's where the fucking black market and that's where the fucking perpetrators are able to profit and secondly you put pressure on jewel to ban their flavored pods and you've already started to create that black market and you're already starting to see the effects from your actions regulate Make it safe for people. That's your job. Don't create a black market that is unsafe and illicit and is going to endanger kids in the future. That's all this is going to do. So, all right, guys, that's my belief. Whether it's going to do any fucking good or whether anybody in goddamn Washington is going to care, that I can tell you no. <laughs> so... I don't know if they're going to actually ban this. I will keep up to date as things happen. But anyways, guys, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear yours. You guys are never ones to hold back. And I'm sorry this couldn't have been my happiest, most upbeat video. But this is a very serious issue. And I do feel like the current policy that the administration is taking is going to endanger kids much worse than vaping ever did. This is going to actually be the cause of the next 10 years of illicit black market vape products that are killing kids. So please rethink and please use some logic. Look at history and let that be your guide.